back at it again and uh we have one with my favorite actor and according to a lot of you guys your favorite actor too let's dive in as a journalist who has worked with NBC, CBS, and ABC News, Katie Couric has had the opportunity to interview many powerful people, all the way from influential politicians to award-winning actors. Couric's advice for a good interview is pretty modest and simple. As she explained to Tony Masillis in a chat for YouTube Reporters Center, The more comfortable you make someone feel, the better interview you'll ultimately get. She also expressed the importance of being warm and welcoming when speaking with interview subjects. Unfortunately for the Virginia native, her advice didn't come in handy during a 2004 interview with actor Denzel Washington. Washington apparently wasn't happy with Couric's line of questioning, which resulted in her feeling shaken after the interview. As she recalled during an April 2020 appearance on the podcast Everything Iconic. For years now, there has been an ongoing debate about whether celebrity figures should share their opinions on politics. Katie Couric brought up this hot button topic in 2004 when interviewing Denzel Washington for Dateline about a movie he was promoting at the time, The Manchurian Candidate. Considering the movie is a political thriller, it arguably makes sense why Couric asked Washington whether he agrees with the idea that, quote, Hollywood folks should stick to acting. In response, Washington told Couric, I don't know what Hollywood folks are, first of all. Hollywood is a town that has some stars on the sidewalk. I don't know anybody from there. Couric pressed... <laughs> Denzel is not the one. And I think that's why a lot of people love Denzel Washington. He's a no-nonsense type of guy. You know, um, he he doesn't take any BS. Don't don't lump me into this group or that group. Like, no, I am my own man. I am Denzel Washington. Don't don't put me in a group with them or them over there. Like, no, 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 no. Denzel, that's it. And I love it. I respect it. And not only that, I mean the guys the guys an amazing actor. You know, to to, to <laughs> without being I, I don't I don't think I need to even say that, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. The issue telling Washington, okay, all right, well, let me rephrase the question. Are you one of those people that, at this, Washington interrupted Corex saying, ah, there you go. Am I one of those people? Hmm, isn't that interesting? When the reporter tried to redirect once again by pointing out that Washington is an actor, the training day star shot back. No, I'm not that either. I'm a human being. My job is acting. Washington's response to Corex's line of questioning apparently left and that, that goes back to what I just said. Like, don't lump him into this other crap. Like, no, I am me. I am Denzel. My job is to act. I am not an actor. <laughs> don't you just love Denzel, man? Just, just, he's just so real, so authentic. It's, it's, it's refreshing to, to hear and see someone like this that still exists in a world of a bunch of whiny crybabies who want to tap dance around everything and all these... Uh, all, all this other crap he's just straightforward i'm gonna shoot it to you straight if you like it you like it if you don't then so be it i love I, I i love that i love that no nonsense left the interviewer shaken on the everything iconic podcast she, she the corex line of questioning apparently left the interviewer shaken on the everything iconic podcast she went in depth about her feelings after the interview i remember walking out and feeling really kind of shaken that he yeah. had kind of gone after me in a way that was completely weirdly uncalled for however Corey whoa 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 you felt shaken because you had an interview and he didn't answer the questions the way you wanted them to man you you have lost all credibility all credibility is in the toilet it's, it's swirling down right now what 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 kind of crap is that am i wrong y'all let, let, let me know maybe, maybe i'm wrong but like i feel like that that's total bs I felt like th this was probably one of those situations that we've seen where the interviewer asks a question and they're they're trying to lead to a certain answer. They ask a question and they know the answer that they want to get. So they try to push for that certain answer. And when they don't get it, it kind of flusters them a little bit because they're like, well, I, I asked it in a specific way. You know, I I, I, I led them, the, you know, with, with this question beforehand, like I, I, I thought I had them. No. You didn't have anybody, you know, I, I feel like it was one of those kind of situations, but y'all, you guys can let me know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe he was super aggressive. I highly, highly doubt it. Knowing Denzel Washington, he, he, he probably answered it in a no nonsense, straightforward type of fashion. But a lot of folks these days, they don't like that for some odd reason. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fake folks in this world these days um, that can't handle straightforward, no nonsense type of 
answers. Also revealed that Washington made up for the incident in a meaningful way by writing a big check to the colon cancer organization that Corrick was in charge of. The gesture was likely made even more meaningful considering that Corrick's first husband, Jay Monahan, died of colon cancer in 1998. We can't say for certain why Katie Corrick's interview with Denzel Washington went off the rails, although it might have had something to do with the actor's long dislike of Hollywood. Washington told The Guardian in 2013, Even within the industry, I don't have any actor friends. My friends are old old friends. One's an ex-music guy, the other's a restaurant owner, and the other's an ex-pro ball player. When pressed on the issue of avoiding the entertainment scene, Washington said, Maybe I'm not a butt kisser. Maybe I'm not a schmoozer. I'm not about to go to a party to try get a job. And then when you have children, the other friends become other parents. We coach baseball or basketball. My wife and I were raised right. I don't want movie star friends. So when Katie Corey- oh, Listen, no nonsense. I don't need to rub elbows with people so they don't call me weird. My friends are my friends. No, I'm not. Now, now I'm sure Denzel isn't going to be disrespectful to any actors or anything like that, but he doesn't need to rub elbows and shake hands with, with folks just to be part of the group. I mean, his acting skills speak for themselves. Simple and plain. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and that is the type of guy that, you know, um, should, should be plastered all over the place. Kids should be, uh, you know, kids should have as a role model. Denzel Washington, man. The guy's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Brought up Hollywood folks in her interview with Washington. Maybe he took offense because he thought she had lumped him into that category. About five years after Katie Couric's awkward interview with Denzel Washington, she brought up another uncomfortable chat that went down between her and a mystery actor. During a 2009 talk with producer Tony Masillis, Couric said about the bad interview, I had an actor who I interviewed who shall remain nameless, who just didn't want to be bothered. It really annoyed me because I was giving him a lot of time on national television and he clearly didn't want to be there. We're not sure who Corrick was referring to there, but it's possible that Denzel Washington is You don't own the network. <laughs> you are an employee. <laughs> what, what type of privileged stuff is that? I was giving him time on national television. He's an actor. He gets time on television all the time, clearly. And last time I checked, you don't own the network. You know, it's, 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 like, it's like when people say, yo, this is my block. This my city block. No, this is not your block. You live in that house that you don't even own. You rent. Some guy that 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 lives in Calabasas owns this block. <laughs> this ain't your block. This ain't your TV network. Or this this this, this ain't your show. <laughs> You're an employee on the show. You might be you might be the main employee main employee on the show, but it's not your show. Just saying. Am I wrong? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Talk to me is the culprit, as the journalist talked to him in 2004. Of course, it's impossible to say who Corrick was talking about unless she reveals the answer one day. So yeah, um, everything that I pretty much expected from Denzel, straightforward, no nonsense. And then the interviewer. Why, why are interviewers getting or becoming like this? I mean, it's, it's weird. If you're gonna interview people, just interview them. Like, uh, their, their, their answers to your questions shouldn't affect you. They're their own free people. If 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 you want to interview someone and if you have the questions and the answers, why are you interviewing them? I feel like part of the problem is these interviewers go into these interviews having the questions and the answers. So they expect the answers to just be repeated back to them. And it's just like, no. First off, your answers are probably stupid. And second, everyone has different thoughts and the way that they handle things is totally different. We're all different yeah we're all humans but we're all different at the same time I, I, I don't i don't i don't understand that one um it's just weird absolutely weird but um yeah if if, if this was a, a situation where denzel was super aggressive and you saw this interview uh in particular let me know in the comment section maybe i was wrong about the entire situation like i said i highly doubt it knowing denzel washington he's not that type of person i think she was just being soft and privileged in the situation but that's just me Y'all can let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, please hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.